This deadly fair ride accident is hitting a little too close to home tonight. As you saw on World News, the accident at the Ohio State Fair hurt seven people and killed an 18 year old man. Our tenders reporter Laura Acevedo is live at Belmont Park where the accident has caused a ride to shut down there. Laura. Yeah, and employees at Belmont Park put up this rope to keep people from getting on that ride. Now this is the Beach Blaster and it is a really popular ride since we've been here all day today. People have been coming up to us asking why it's shut down, why they can't go on it, but others know exactly why. I've been on that one since I was a kid. Mallory Smith was looking forward to riding the Beach Blaster with her friend today. Yeah, the rush of getting so high up in the air and like kind of spinning around. But she'd have to wait. The ride is one of six shut down in California because of the accident at the Ohio State Fair. I feel very safe with it. It's not, I didn't like connect this with the Ohio one whatsoever. The Beach Blaster is similar to the fireball ride involved in the accident. It's made by the same company, the Dutch manufacturer KMG. Smith has been on the ride at Belmont like Park kind of dozens of times. Swings up and down, like gaining more momentum, and then it just gets all the way up there, and then it just slows down. The accident was all caught on video and captured the moment a part of the ride completely detached, killing one and critically injuring several others. We've edited the footage because some of it is too graphic. KMG ordered their rides, including the Beach Blaster, shut down worldwide. I won't ever allow them to ride anything like this again. Lisa Shermer was with her grandson at Belmont Park. She was glad to see the ride closed. Oh, better safe than sorry, because I'm sure the families of those kids that were riding that ride in Ohio are sorry now. Adventure seekers like Smith hope the ride reopens soon. It makes sense. You know, you want to make sure people are safe and everything, but um, I just hope it's not shut down for long because I, I trust this one. The manager here at Belmont Park tells me they don't know how long the beach blaster is going to be closed for. Now, we also reached out to the manufacturer. So far, we haven't heard back. Reporting live from Belmont Park, Laura Acevedo, 10 News.